Hello and welcome. In this video I want to give some short tips related to YAML and the configuration of the Ponagotchi. I'm definitely no YAML expert, but I experimented a little bit with the Ponagotchi in the last day and experienced various issues and also saw in, on Reddit and other pages that also other users struggle with YAML. So I want to give you some tips, some yeah, possible failures which you could avoid. I prepared here some file, just the usual text file in Notepad++. I've added some basic configuration like name and so on. And now I want to show you some typical errors. So for example, when I now want to add an additional network to the whitelist, intentionally as non-YAML expert, I just press return, add a dash space, and then I write the network I want to use. So let's test one, two, three, four, five. That's, that's for example, would be one change, one network. Now this this one is not YAML compliant. I show you when when I now copy that just that part and put it into the YAML verification tool, which you can find various online. It tells me that there is an issue. Found character that cannot start any token in line five. The problem is YAML does not work with any tabs. You can only use spaces. And now as I push return. Notepad plus plus added a uh, yeah, uh, tab there. So now I remove the tab and add four spaces instead. One, two, three, four. I copy and paste it again. And now it's valid YAML. So keep in mind when you press return, remove the tabs if there are some, or in general, never use any tabs when you work with YAML. Also, when you add a new network, Keep in mind that if you have any special characters like an at or whatever special in the name, um, you that's, that would also not be YAML compliant. So you see here found character that cannot start any token. So you have to use single quotes in that case. So let, let's add them here. The same applies for the host name and other values. So if there's anything special or maybe in general, I recommend you to to use these single quotes. That the main points are really don't use any tabs, care about the indentation and the single quotes. Um, let's proceed further. So let's let's copy all that config here into the YAML editor or YAML verification tool and see what, what else we have. So we have another problem in line 14. What do we have here? So it, it's, it could be also a tab again. Let's remove that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's check again. No, still not column 15. Ah, oh, okay, yes, one. A letter is missing, enabled. There was the D missing, so we added that. But we still have a problem in column 16. Enabled a line 14, column 15. What else is wrong here? Let's remove these spaces. Yeah, no, now we have a so there, there was a problem with the lines below. So now that's that's valid YAML. So my Tips to you, use the uh, ver YAML verification tool. Keep in mind to not use tabs, use spaces instead. So um, for example, the majority here we have two spaces, here we have four spaces. In some areas we have six spaces, so usually two, four or six spaces. That's all from my side. Um, yeah, good luck. Bye bye.